There is a balance in nature. Dark shadows are highlighted by summer's golden sun. Fresh rain flows through ancient stone. Cold spring water eases the pressing heat. We are learning to find wholeness in this balance, to not focus on lightness or shadows, but to find truth in the spaces in between. Julia's paintings depict this harmony. Her strokes weave between a balance of freedom and careful composition. Light and dark. Stillness and movement. But painting requires a symmetry of mindsets. Her strokes are both deliberate and aimless. She works diligently and then lets herself fall into a rhythm of mindless creation. There is an equilibrium of presence. Meticulous calculating and planning is punctuated by moments of wild spontaneity. She throws bold strokes of gestural colour onto her considered compositions, letting a moment of intuition be guided by hours of intention. This painting might be my biggest challenge yet. I've never actually been able to paint myself. It's funny, I always paint Anastasia or just the people around me in my life, but self-portraits are something that I've never been able to do. So I thought I have to challenge myself and I have to try. And honestly, it's turning out to be incredible. It could be one of my favorite paintings yet. It's going to be a really special one with lots of stories wrapped up in it. So I'm excited to see how it turns out. It's always funny at this stage in the painting. I kind of have a vision of what it will be, but I still don't know what will happen along the way. And I'm so nervous, but so excited at the same time. This week is special, not just because of the blooming water lilies and summer's golden sun, but because we are getting all of our paintings and drawings ready to go all the way to London for an exhibition to celebrate the launch of our book. It feels like such a big moment of reflection as we think back on the last years of creating our book and sharing our stories, joy and creativity with you. Creating art and telling stories has always been our passion, so this opportunity means more than we can even explain.
We have found that if you nurture yourself, you can be more nurturing to others. And if you nurture others, they can be more nurturing to the earth. We see the cycles of our care like undulating ripples, moving with effortless grace. We see connection, creativity, and care as our tools to heal the earth and to heal ourselves. This is a practice from our book, which came out two weeks ago. Let us know if you got a copy yet, and please tell us your favourite page. We're so overwhelmed by all of the beautiful messages we're receiving about the book. It makes us so happy to think about it being read and loved all around the world. There's still time to get it before Christmas. You can follow the link in our description to buy it. We are floating peacefully in the shades of in the shades of green. Memories have me shivering with all the words we all the words we've seen. because this painting is a really big challenge for me and it seems to be going well. I've kind of discovered that when I put heaps of work into my underpainting and be really diligent in those first steps, it seems to pay off later. And now I've got this really solid base to work from where I understand the composition and the shadows and the movement so much better. And I can even be more free in these stages now and focus more on color and fluidity and movement, which is kind of exciting. Today I'm going to really focus on trying to finish the whole background and keep my momentum up. And so I'm going to use even this really big brush and capture the movement of the stream and kind of the freedom and all the reflections and brightness and colour and really get that beautiful feeling of that special place in the rainforest that's so calm but so vivid at the same time. Julia's paintings often illustrate ripples and reflections, moving streams and water flowing. These metaphors guide us.
We see our lives like the ripples between rocks. Soft and shining, they expand outward. Like time, they only move one way, uninterrupted in their circling movement. In these cyclical spirals, we see the interwoven layers of history reflected. Our ancestors etched in each ripple. Each generation is drawn with a new shimmering line. Undulations are formed by all that has been and by all that will come. Moulded by each other's ribbons, they spread through interconnected movements and fill the pool of their shape. We think of all those who have come before us and all of those who will come after, understanding care as a boundless movement that radiates through time like a ripple. Our actions spread outward, shaping the future world. At the present moment, we have the power to shift its shape. Each circle can become grander. The love, the care, and the action spreads. It heals.
this painting is in a very special section of our book, which is now available worldwide. To celebrate the release of our book, we went to London with a tube full of paintings to hold an exhibition of all of the art. It felt like the accumulation of all of our hard work creating these special pieces was being celebrated so beautifully, all the way in the big city of London. As we hung Julia's bright paintings, it felt like we brought a little bit of the rainforest all the way across the world. For the first time in years, all of Julia's paintings are for sale. There's a link in our description to more photos and details of the exhibition and information on how to buy this. After setting up the space for art on every wall, we had a beautiful opening night where we met so many kind, incredible people. We then came back each day, holding different events like life drawing, environmental panels and music nights. We were just so inspired by all the people that we met. So many communities have gone through ends of the world before and have had the imagination to build better, have had the imagination to create, to dance, to make art, to make songs. And, you know, so many people are having extreme weather events and they're having to adapt and even be creative in the way they address them and farm. Aaron from Parking on the Wild Side sung his beautiful songs as we all gathered and sung along. You may have heard his music on here before. It was amazing to finally meet him and Laura and their dog Luffy. They have a great YouTube channel which we'll link below. We just feel so grateful for all of your support. We still can't really believe that all of this is happening. A special thank you to the support from our patrons. We feel so honoured by your care. The music in this video is by Mowgli, and you can find her links in our description too.